I'm Laura Jensen with Jensen Reserve. I'm here today to show you another use of our raw kraut that we make in the store and how to cook it with our amazing Black Angus hot dogs. So if you'll come on over to my cast iron skillet, I'll show you what I do with it. Come on over. All right, so I'm gonna start with putting some hot dogs in the pan. I've already warmed up my pan, it's warming up now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in, eh, let's start with uh, four. I'll save two for later. I like that these are resealable, so I can just throw it right back in the fridge and we're good to go. That sounds a little bit high, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I use, I use a lot of my senses cooking, but a one, one of them is, uh, what does it sound like? So does it sound like it's cooking at a higher temp that I like? And I know that sounds kind of odd, but is it making a really fast fried noise i think is what i'm saying and if you notice from where we started these are kind of simmered down a little bit so i'm going to use my tongs to get them going get them rolled around a little bit and then i'm going to cut them into bite-sized pieces and add some of our amazing raw kraut to it so for now let's just let them cook I'm just keeping them turned a little bit, see how they're browning up some. I don't particularly love a, a burnt hot dog, I know some people do, but not my thing. All right, I'm just gonna keep them, keep them moving here a little bit. Almost time to cut them and move to the next step. I'm gonna let that cook for about a minute and then we'll move on. <clears throat> Alrighty, I think they are ready. Cut up into our bite-sized pieces. We'll turn it down just a little bit and do just like it sounds. I made these for the family the other day and it was just so gorgeous to see how they cooked up that I said I have to make this video and show you guys how I do it so you can enjoy them the same way. All right, now that we got that, you hear it kind of heating up again. I'm gonna roll them around here for a minute. Aren't they getting a beautiful look, beautiful color to them? You can buy both of these products in my farm store. We keep these hot dogs available at all times and also the kraut as well. We carry two flavors of kraut. We have a garlic kraut that's made with purple cabbage or red cabbage, depending on uh, which way you want to look at it. When we make the kraut out of it, it actually makes it look purple in the end. So I like to call it our purple garlic kraut. And it too is delicious with this because of that garlic uh, Marion with the hot dogs. All right, so we've got this looking pretty dang good. We're going to push this over here to the side, let it keep going, and then I'm going to use some of our classic kraut here. I don't need a ton of the juice, so we'll try to not do that. So this, for example, would probably feed my husband and I, so I'm just looking for the same amount of kraut that I think each of us would like with our hot dogs. It's not an exact measurement. You don't even have to cook it this way. Um, ooh, that's a lot. That's probably more than we're gonna eat, y'all, but here we have it. All right, so leave that there. Now, am I damaging the kraut by doing this? You know, I very well may be taking out some of those properties because I'm heating the kraut. But my personal choice when it comes to this is I do not want a cold kraut on my hot dog. So that's why I do it this way. It also makes it nice to go ahead and blend it together. And then we can serve it right from the pan without needing to wash anything else. 
<coughs> Excuse me. If you hear some uh, humming in the background, that's our air fryer going with our bacon wrapped chicken. We'll have that video out uh, as well. So this is um, our weenies and kraut, as I like to call it. I'm going to grab a pan to, uh, or excuse me, a bowl to put it in to serve it. Uh, turn the oven off and let it sit, and I'll be right back. All right, I love all the colors of my Fiesta Ware. Today we're going with blue. So let's uh, dish us some up here. And there you have it. Isn't that a beautiful look? Our weenies and kraut. You can buy all the products in the store and this will help you make it a short, quick dinner. Again, this was probably a 10-15 minute deal to have dinner on the table. Something delicious. You know it's uh, clean and good for you. Now let me grab a fork. Okay y'all, doesn't that look delicious? I'm going to go ahead and take a bite. I hope it's not too hot. It might actually burn my mouth a little bit, but that's okay because I'm hungry. So let me get a little bit of uh, kraut on there. We've got the hot dog and here we go. Mm. Such great flavor. These two things marry together so well. So give it a try today. I think you'll enjoy it. I know with these colder days coming up, this is gonna be a hit. Thank you all for watching. Excuse me. Be sure to like and subscribe and thank you for taking the time to hang out with me. I'll see you in the next video.